Welcome to the BWSpec 4.10 Batch Reprocess for Ramen video. This function allows users to reprocess data that has already been collected. If you have not seen the probe setup and experiment setup video, we recommend watching that first before batch reprocess. In this video, we will talk about what batch reprocess is, how to reprocess a timeline data series or a batch of files, and how to import an experiment setup configuration to be used for batch reprocess. Batch reprocess is similar to experiment setup, but is used to process raw data from previously saved spectra, whether this data has been processed before or not. Experiment setup is processing new data directly while collecting. Now we're going to open a txtr data file to illustrate and explain how batch reprocessing function works. Batch reprocess function starts with the raw and dark data blocks of each spectrum and processes each check spectrum according to the steps specified and then saves the results in the corresponding process data block, which is called dark subtracted in the file. For example, if a spectrum has previously been intensity corrected and you perform the spectral function baseline removal on it, it will produce a process data that is intensity corrected and then baseline corrected and display this. To perform batch reprocess on the same spectrum with a baseline removal step defined, it will produce a process data spectrum that is baseline corrected only as processing is performed on the raw data, which means no relative intensity correction. The applied spectral processing steps or reflected in the pre-treat sequence, viewable in the spectrum information panel. We will walk through the batch reprocess, starting with the previously saved data, citric acid polymorphs. We have the conversion of the citric acid monohydrate to the anhydrous form by heating. Our safe spectra names are the temperature at the time of measurement in degrees Celsius. Then we will open the data through timeline load and apply batch reprocess to view the results in the peak monitor panel. To begin, navigate to spectral function batch reprocess, where we will define the spectral process and analytics, as well as the parameters for saving the process spectra. The spectral processing section performs predefined processing to raw data and includes both instrument correction, found in the tools menu, and other spectral functions. Depending on the file format, some or all instrumental corrections may be disabled. We are focusing on operations in the Raman workspace, which is limited to relative intensity correction and additional processing. Additional processing allows for multiple post-processing steps to be applied after any selected instrumental correction, including baseline removal, smoothing, and derivative. Add a relative intensity correction ratio file, then check the box to enable it, if needed for your analysis. In our demonstration, we will not use relative intensity correction. Check the box next to additional processing, and then click the button to open the post-processing setup window. Click New to add a data process. In this example, we will do baseline removal. Type in the name. For type, select baseline in the drop-down menu, and under lambda, we select a value from 0 to 100,000. In this case, we're selecting 870. This value has been predetermined by using the baseline tool in spectral function. Click the Done button to add this data processing. Additional processing steps can be added by clicking New. Click Close to exit the window. The Analytics menu provides spectral analysis functions to be performed on the process data, with the results displayed in the Analytics tab. In our example, we are going to measure the disappearance of the monohydrate peak at 1167 Raman shift. Looking at that peak, we see it begins at about 1154 and ends at about 1188. We will use those points in our peak monitor setup. The peak monitor allows the user to perform peak analysis on defined peaks 
as well as arithmetic on the analysis results. Basic measurements define the peak's property values. Derived measurements define the measurement variables that are derived from the basic measurements. Check the box next to peak monitor and then click the button to open the peak monitor setup window. Select basic measurements or derived measurements to define these. Click new to add a basic measurement. In name, we type peak 1167. In type, we select curve fit Y and then under select position, we select Raman shift with a start and end of 1154 and 1188 respectively. Then click the done button to add this to basic measurements. We select curve fit Y because it takes a curve fit of the peak and then finds the peak height. Click close to exit the window. Spectral processing in analytic settings may be imported from a currently loaded experiment setup configuration using the copy from experiment button. If you are working with experiment setup and want to batch reprocess data, you can copy the currently selected experiment setup to batch reprocess by clicking the copy from experiment button. Please note that the experiment must be selected for this to work and that to enter experiment setup, a unit must be connected. The Save Process Spectrum menu defines parameters for saving the newly processed data. When Save Process Spectra is checked, the reprocessed spectra are saved in the defined path location. The Add Prefix will automatically add the specified prefix to each file name as a way to identify the reprocessed data. Click Do to execute the batch reprocess or Undo to restore the original data. In case the save process spectra is checked, undo will also delete the files from the disk. Save configuration to save the current configuration to a file. Click new configuration to create a new batch reprocess configuration. Click load configuration to load a previously saved batch reprocess configuration file. After the batch reprocess is finished, we can look at our analytics in the Batch Reprocess Analytics tab and export this data into Excel. Now let's show using Batch Process and Timeline Load. We first open the folder containing our timeline data. In our example, we'll use the same citric acid polymorph data. Make sure Timeline is enabled in the plugin, then navigate to File, Timeline Load. In the load path, we will select the citric acid polymorph data. Then we will click on the batch reprocess setup button, which will open batch reprocess setup just like we did before. We will select the checkbox next to the batch reprocess setup window, and the batch reprocess graph is now displayed at the bottom along with the peak monitor panel. We're going to enable peak 1167 as measurement one to display the data. Now we can click the play button and have the data display in real time with the corresponding analytics graph in the batch reprocess graph. For more information on using the BWSpec 4.10 software, please refer to the user manual as well as our other support videos. You can also reach us at bwtech.com support. Thank you for watching.